State lawmakers say we are still recognizing the impacts of Senate Bill 202. Governor Brian Kemp signed the elections bill into law almost a month ago. Today, Georgia House Minority Leader James Beverly held a news conference in Macon to share those possible impacts. 41 NBC's Ariel Schiller was there and has more. Georgia Republicans say that Senate Bill 202 will make elections safer. Minority Leader James Beverly and others say it will suppress the vote and hurt small businesses. Beverly says they're in the process of fighting the bill in courts. We're going to try to repeal it in a special session, and then next year we're going to just keep telling folk, here's what you need to do as a result of this bill. Minority Leader James Beverly hosted a news conference outside of Ma Dukes in Macon Monday. He refers to Senate Bill 202 as Jim Crow 2.0. He says the bill is draconian legislation. It criminalizes giving food and water to voters standing in line. He says it also limits ballot boxes and it transfers power to the legislator as opposed to the state elections board. There are many other items listed in the bill. Beverly says the bill is discouraging people from coming to Georgia to do business. The responsibility for any economic pain now facing and our businesses lies squarely and solely at their feet, who prioritize voter suppression over the well-being of all Georgians. Teresa Cohen, owner of Ma Duke, says the pandemic hit her business hard. She opened in 2019, but when COVID hit, she had a hard time getting assistance. She says she feels like elected officials have not held up their end of the bargain. I have called all different type organizations trying to get help to keep my business going, and I haven't got any results from anybody. Cohen says she's frustrated that her business is struggling. She's even considered moving her business out of Georgia at times. She says she feels like elected officials made empty promises to business owners. I'm letting everybody know people don't do what they say they're going to do all the time, so we got to be careful who we vote for. Minority Leader Beverly says in an ideal situation, he would extend early voting, allow people to vote at any precinct in any county, and implement same-day registration. He says there are other states who have similar practices. The quality of life in those states for everybody is, is it rises because if you give everybody the incentive to vote, especially business at the base of the pyramid, then people really have a true stake in democracy. In Macon, Ariel Scheller, 41 NBC News. And we did reach out to Republican State Senators Larry Walker and John Kennedy to respond to Beverly's comments, but we have not heard back from them at this hour.